So I looked up and I kind of leaned back and I said, do you feel that? She's like, eyes wide open, like in awe of the goodness of God. She's like, yeah, yeah, I feel it. Wow. I said, does it hurt? She's like, no, it doesn't hurt at all anymore. I was like, your pain's totally gone. She's like, yeah. vlogs if not check it out I have them linked below Elisa and I spent eight days in Cuba with Leif Hetland and the global mission awareness team and it transformed our lives we had a lot of prophetic words going into this trip and we hit the ground as soon as like we we're flying over Cuba from the Caribbean and you can see land and we're kind of circling around getting ready to touch down our hearts began to leap and burn within us and then we got out there we got our feet on the ground it was this I keep saying beyond epic it was a life-changing life transforming experience and so check out the vlogs it shows you our journey um, we're going day by day for the most part kind of getting our way into it there's two episodes out just yeah come with us Come with us to Cuba. And for the supporters out there who made this trip possible, I just want to say just a massive thank you, a massive God bless you. It wouldn't have been possible without you. And we carried you in our hearts as together Kingdom Family was able to impact the nation. Because there's just so much majesty. Since I've been back, you always have that weird like reverse culture shock coming back to America when you've been in the country that honestly isn't in a position that America is in, although we're leaning our hearts towards changing that, towards seeing a grassroots movement begin to impact that nation. It's easy going on a, a, a ministry trip like that or whether we go to a conference um, or spend some extended time away just seeking the Lord to come back. And it's like you can't turn off the presence. And that's how it's been for me since I've been back. It's like I feel God's presence everywhere. Sometimes it's like a swarm of presence. And I'll be in public and I'll get like a jolt. I'm, I'm, I'm just aware and of His presence. And I'm expectant for Him to move in every situation. So presence is key for just daily life. Whether it's giving a quick word. Whether it's loving. Whether it's giving a smile. We went out to eat earlier this week after church at Cracker Barrel with some friends from Bethel, Atlanta. And our waitress walks up and she's smiling. She's full of joy. And it wasn't hard to begin to lean my heart towards what God was doing in her life. And I was like, wow, the joy of the Lord is just bubbling out of you. It's amazing. I was like, can I just grab your hand? So I just grabbed her hand just gently and just released more presence on her. And she was just wrecked by the glory and the goodness of God. It was amazing. In times like that too, we, we went ahead and blessed her um, with a good tip. Because when you're, when you're being generous in spirit, let that generosity in spirit be matched by generosity in the natural as well. But just walking in presence, people know they're attracted. The thing that they're desiring, that the thing that they're longing for is burning in you. They get around you and they begin to acclimate to it. Whether or not they know the Lord, they're still drawn to the light. A couple of days later, me and Lisa are trying to figure out where to eat some dinner. And Lisa decides that she wants to eat at Tin Drum. So we drive over there and we're walking in. And as we're walking in, um, two young people are walking out. A, a, a young guy and a young lady. And I noticed that the young lady had a cast on her foot. So without thinking, it wasn't one of those times where, Lord, is this person being highlighted? Am I being drawn to them? I was walking in presence, so when I saw it, it was like a magnetic attraction. I just began to walk towards her and approach her without even think of, thinking about it. The mind was taken out because my body was being governed by the presence of Jesus. And I walked over and I said, hey, this might be awkward. Um, you guys are just finishing eating, but I really just, you know, what's going on with your foot? 
Oh, well, I'm a dancer, she said, and I heard it dancing. I said, is it hurting right now? She's like, yeah, a little bit. It's not too bad. I was like, do you mind if I pray? And she was like, okay, sure. I said, what's your name? She said, Emma. And that's a name that's like a prophetic um, thing for our lives. It means faithfulness, and it's something that we're really we hold on to. So I could see that there was even a heavenly connection that God even had to deposit in there for me for what he was about to do for Emma. And so the presence of God was just so, just so thick. And I leaned down and put my hand on her ankle. And I could feel the presence, just the presence of God. I could feel the wind swirling around my hand. And just gently, in Jesus' name, 100% healing. Pain has to leave, in Jesus' name. So I looked up, and I kind of leaned back, and I said, Do you feel that? She's like, eyes wide open, like in awe of the goodness of God. She's like, yeah, yeah, I feel it. Wow. I said, does it hurt? She's like, no, it doesn't hurt at all anymore. I was like, your pain's totally gone. She's like, yeah. I was like, wow, that's amazing. So it's really just awesome to flow and live from presence. It's just like in John when he said, rivers of living water will swell up out of your innermost being. And when those rivers are flowing, it's not hard to kind of step out and do and be because you're you're a child of God. So you're acting from your natural place, your heavenly place. And if we go through our day in presence, if we go through our day seated in heavenly places, then everything that's available in those places transfers through us to those who are in need and hurting. They need joy, they need peace, they need life, they need healing. It all freely flows through us. So I encourage you, just hang out, whether it's getting up an hour earlier, whether it's staying up an hour later, whether it's giving your lunch time to the Lord, presence is key. So devote portions of your day to His presence and watch. You won't even have to try to evangelize. You won't have to try to do this or that. You'll begin to see that it naturally flows from your life. Don't forget, if you're enjoying these vlogs and the keep the videos, like, subscribe. And if you like these vlogs and you feel like they're encouraging to your friends, go ahead and share that as well. If you hit that notification bell, you're going to be updated every single time we post a video. So this week, I just really want to highlight our Sky Dream book. It's called Sky Dream, A Jesus Encounter. In 2001, I know that was a long time ago, but I went to sleep. I was struggling with different things in life. I was about to go from third semester to fourth semester in Fire School of Ministry. A uh, school that was just born in the environment of the Brownsville Revival. And I was, I was looking for identity, I was looking for a touch of God, I was looking for freedom from things I was dealing with. And I went to bed desperate, crying out to the Lord. I had no idea what was about to happen. I went to sleep and I had the most amazing, prophetic, apocalyptic, revelatory dream I've ever had, even to this day. And it's still one of the most significant encounters of my life. And so I put that dream by itself into this book. Thanks for hanging out today and being part of the Kingdom family.